Hey guys, it's Futon here, and welcome to episode 9 of my Road to Put Our Own Farm Breeding Walls. Uh, this video will be covering chinchampas, and unfortunately chinchampas are probably the most complicated of all of the animals that they have here at the farm. Uh, let's just read up the railing log, and you'll see that there is 8 different types of chinchampas, one of which is the golden. This is the shiny. This one works like any other shiny animal where the radiant, sparkling, glistening plays effect. Now note, um... That's where it ends. Um, Chinchompas work differently from any, any other animals. Like for chickens, for example, you can have the main breed breed into the others. For chins, you can't. If you have, you have to have physically the male or female of each one of these. So like if you have a male, two male gray chinchompa, or just, sorry, a male and a female gray chinchompa, then you can never get any of the others. You actually have to do like male to female of this, male to female of this, like crossbreed them all in order to get all the different chin types. Which means, as an Ironman, this becomes very hectic because you actually have to go and catch your own chins. Um, catching chins is the only way to get it, other than the um, the trapper, which is back here in the house. And pray to God you get the different chin types. But that can end up taking forever, and you may never get them anyway. So, with that being said, for main accounts, just buy the different chin types off of GE. That's the fastest way to do it. You need one of each, male and female, just to breed pair free pairs and then from there for Ironman the rest of the guide will continue from here um again uh, for mains this stuff is very simple but irons this is where it kind of hits the shit hits the fan basically so I'll be back uh, with the first section which is great chins and no for these you do need box traps as this is the best way to do it and the method will change next month however with the land out of time if you guys are looking uh, past January 2019 you also want to use your hunter cape but other than that, um, you really don't need much else, so I will see you um, at the first area. Okay, we're here in the Pisasaurus Hunter area where there's um, chins scattered all over the place. Unfortunately, there's a scene there's not many areas where these are very coalesced for the gray chins. But this is basically where you want to hunt them, and you just place draw traps. Of course, you do the normal thing. Um, but I'm not very for sure where the spawn rates are, but this is a location where you want to hunt them. Um, I will have to come back with a better method of actually how you do it, but this is the area where you go, and as you see here, this is the different ones. And then, of course, you want your crafting catalyst, but yeah, let's see here if we can just get these into box traps. Let's just see here. Yeah, these are pretty much where you just want to go, and like I said, these are probably the worst of all of them, because they're, um, in their own little area, unfortunately, so, but this is, um, effectively where you go to... Get your chins and then boom chicken box trap and there goes your chin um and they're very spread out so that's just pretty much all there is to it um but this is the location for the gray chins uh next we'll be going to where the general area for the carnivorous chins are okay guys here's where the carnivorous chin jumpers are um this is one of the two different types of places that you can go you can um go ahead and catch them anywhere around here but as you see right here carnivorous and chin jumpers um no these are the most sought after ones as well for iron man because they can basically um give you mech chins um from just breeding but as another note with this you also want to take into account that you can also go ahead and use the big chin carnivorous chin chompa tickets and go there to catch them so note you'll be needing to do a lot of um big chin for that because they are very rare but as you see this is probably not the best spot to get them but you kind of get the general gist of the area but yeah you can just go ahead and camp here um there's probably a few more things you could just look up but and also if you notice in the last clip i'm not wearing nothing unless you're using the jungle camo outfits the elite ones um there really isn't too much here you really can be doing um this isn't entirely super fast so yeah take away the grain of salt um so next area we'll be going i think is the cobalt chinchampas okay the cobalt skill chompers actually was a little bit of a pain to find you want to come up around here from the barbarian agility of course up here but down this side come through here there's a little gateway here uh the crimson skill chompers are down here um and they're a lot more plentiful than what the other two were um, the other two are very old pieces of content too, and they're not really as, uh, I don't think they're as plentiful, but, uh, basically here we go for the, just this area. I'm guessing you can just put them just about wherever. I don't really think they matter too much, as you've seen, I've seen a bigger cluster than anything here. 
Um, so this is basically just uh, where you go, and again, it's a one in a few thousand chance in order to get these. So you basically just are stuck here getting in until you get at least one of the animals. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, right now into the Hunter update, your agility level will affect your XP rates here, but I don't really think you're really here for XP. And these are a lot faster of a pace as well. So, but that's pretty much it for the skull cobalt area. I think Viridian is where we're going to be going next. Okay, so here we are south of uh, Fort Phasmatis, and we are at the area where the Viridian skull chompas are. Um, this is pretty plentiful. Just use an exopod to get down here. Um, yeah, and you can just place your traps just about anywhere you want. It's nothing really that special. Like I said, you see the sheer amount of Viridian skull chompas. You're not gonna have no problem getting them, unlike the gray and um car carnivus. So the next one we're gonna be going to will be the Azure, and um that one is up by the snowy area. So I'll go ahead and um show you guys about that next. Oh boy, when they meant north, they meant north. Um, literally, you gotta go from DKS, and uh, this is kind of a crazy one because you're literally coming all the way up here to near, I believe, where the Baynite mining spot is is where you end up finding the Azure Show Chompas. Yeah, this is the Bay Knight area. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much where you're going. Um, again, pretty plentiful around here. And that's pretty much all there really is to it. Um, again, just come here and catch up. Well, there's plenty here. And then Bay Knight too. If you want to take a break, you guess you could do some mining while you're here. Um, but yeah, that's for the Azure Skill Chompas area. Uh, next we'll be showing you is the Crimson Skill Chompas. Okay, uh, right down here near the gateway to Pinafos here, you'll find the area where the Crimson Skull Chompas live. No, if you're a low level and actually watching this, you will need to have either Crocodile Scare Quest done, or you'll be needing to have Water Skins. If you have done Crocodile Tears Quest, you do not need to deal with any of that, as you have infinite water, you basically don't need Water Skins anymore. But yeah, this is the area where you'll find the Crimson Skull Chompas, and you get to set up camp a little bit of everywhere. There's enough space here for three or four people. And again, on the map, it's right here, right next to Minifos, so shouldn't be too hard at all to find. And um, next, we'll be going to the final area, which is Crystal Skill Chompas, and that area, unfortunately, is also quest lock to the Elven Quest series up, I believe, until mornings in Part 1. So um, we'll go ahead to that area next. 